Welcome to All Plan Engineering Quick Start Lesson 9. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to create 3D reinforcement for stairs and foundations. Before the reinforcement begins, you will go to Options and open Reinforcement Settings to make sure that the right design code has been chosen. There are plenty of available codes which are also correlated with the steel quality. In this example, Eurocode 2 is chosen and a default steel grade of B500B. Before you create your very first reinforcement, it's important to understand how the software will measure the partial lengths of the elements. In this quick start project, all bars will be given outer dimensions. The reinforcement will be created in a separate drawing that is part of the reinforcement model. You will rename drawing 1210 and make it active while the rest of the drawings will stay in edit mode. You will now select the engineering role and jump to the second tab of the action bar called reinforcement. Next step is to generate an associative section using the reinforcement section tool. The section will be seen from below and by doing two diagonal clicks we establish the depth of it. In order to visualize the 3D reinforcement you're about to design, you will have to give a slight transparency to the concrete texture. 60% is a balanced value that allows us to inspect both the concrete and the reinforcement. You will now use the bar shape tool. This allows you to select a certain bar shape that will adapt to your formwork. Select stirrup open at top and in the properties change the diameter and the concrete cover. As you hover over the section, we can see the stirrup adapting to our formwork. Place the bar label and hit escape twice to create a new bar shape. You can easily place a freeform bar shape by clicking on control point of your formwork. Even though this function allows you to freely create reinforcement of any shape, it grants you precise control using the properties window. Use this to provide symmetric segments to your bar shape. Hook angles can also be adjusted. Now it's time to draw the stair reinforcement. Any 2D line can also serve as a virtual formwork for your bars. Draw a line to simulate the ramp. You can adjust the concrete cover on the go and even use different concrete covers for the same bar shape. All plan treats the bar shapes as if they are 2D lines meaning that you can easily move them, stretch them, add hooks, with instant update of the mark definition. Creating the longitudinal bars is even easier to do. You have to select a straight bar from the list Input the diameter and choose drop-in point. The bar automatically snaps to the existing bars. To complete the model you will just copy the bar shape in the desired locations. Mirror copying can also be a fast solution. If you want to change any diameter of a bar you simply click on it and a dynamic box appears. We will finalize now the details by placing some copies also in the stairs. To transform the 2D detail into a 3D reinforcement model, you will use the extrude bars along path. 
You have to select the bars and click on an edge that will represent the extrusion path. If you change your mind regarding the spacing, you can do that any time in the Properties window. If drawing bars shapes seems too complex to model and you would like a more automatic approach for typical elements, then Python parts are the right solution for you. The staircase in the architectural model has been created with Architectural Stair Builder. This is a typical situation as the architect can use any software to model the 3D stairs. We can use Python parts to regenerate a parametric model of the stairs without writing a single line of code. You can load a favorite that matches the stair geometry. There is no need to draw any bar shape, but just to check the required ones. A live preview is available to help you control the model. The 3D reinforcement is ready now. You can now save the reinforcement model in our own library so that you can reuse it in this or any other project. The symbols are organized in groups to keep elements properly organized. A reinforcement filter will be used so that only the 3D reinforcement is transferred to the library. To import any object from the library, you simply drag and drop and place it over the selected transport point. The 3D reinforcement is now positioned inside the global model and we can visually inspect it in the animation window. In our next lesson, you will learn the basics regarding steel modeling in all plans.